Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a little bit of rare brand uh, laptop. These ones are called uh, Warago laptops and I seen few of these ones in and few people keep asking me, sending me emails how to upgrade the RAM and few other stuff so I'm making this video. I usually don't take these laptops for upgrading because they are really low budget laptops. But I'm going to cover in this video how to open it up and how you can upgrade the RAM on this one. These are the Warago Alpha laptop N3060. The model is at the bottom of the laptop. These laptops do come with an 14 inch screen. The N3060 is for the CPU model. It's an Intel Celeron N3060 which is a dual core CPU. And this maximum uh, can handle this CPU is an 8 gig uh, RAM it can handle. They do use an DDR3 uh, low voltage DDR3 RAM, so you will need a sodium, uh, you will need a DDR3 L version RAM. And they do have two space of the RAM DIM at least in here to upgrade. So you can put 4 and 4 gig updating in this one. And I'm going to take you on a step by step how to do that. All right. Even the website for the Warago says only 4 gig is max allowed, but we have upgraded this one up to 8 gig with no issues at all because the CPU it can actually handle that much, and it is said on a Intel Arc website. All right, enough said. So let's get into it. First, you need a screwdriver set. I'll use a fixed screwdriver set kit. We're gonna be using a Phillips number one. You can get the Pro Set, which will include your opening tools and tweezers and many other stuff, or get the simple set. And for the opening tool, you can grab yourself a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick is really suitable to opening covers. All right, with all this at hand, obviously, we're gonna start flipping upside down, power off the laptop, and you might have this warranty label on one of the screws. So remember, there should be a screw there, and a screw in the middle, three in the middle. All right, so three and four in the middle. We're gonna start removing all the screws at the bottom cover, and don't worry, all the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Go ahead and remove all of them. Also, if you guys like my content and you wanna support the channel, and as always, I always try to answer all the questions you and requests you guys leave there in the comment area. And if you wanna support the channel, you can just click like and subscribe to the channel. It will be a great help and support. Also, another way of supporting the channel is you can use my Amazon affiliate links on my video description for your daily purchases. Uh, it will really help also. All right, once we remove everything, the screw in here, I'm going to try to remove it with a magnet. All right, once we remove all the covers, I forgot one screw right over here. Double check, make sure you did remove all the screws. Now what we want to do, uh, we're not going to touch the part where we have audio jack, we're going to start on the other side. So let's start from the front end, so we stick the guitar pick between the bottom and top cover, and you just want to wiggle it around, and make sure you hit that click. So work yourself around, go to the corner, and go to this side, start from the corner, by the exhaust fan right here. So there should be a fan heat sink. So go all the way to the back corner. By the battery here, we want to stick it right somewhere over there. Find the space. And you just want to twist. Once you open the right side by the fan and the front end, all you need to do is grab it from here, bring it up and it slide, slide it towards the audio jack. You want to slide it a little bit and lift it up. Otherwise, you're going to rip the audio jack from here. And this caddy faceplate, it just comes out. So it's just a faceplate here. You can actually add an external, an internal DVD drive. It does have a connector, so you just grab it and push it right in here. And for the faceplate, you will not be able to use this faceplate. So it is going to look half ugly, but it's still going to be workable, usable. All right, once we open it up down here, you're going to see the RAM and the extra RAM dim. And this is the worst heat sink system I've ever seen. So there's no heat pipe or anything. I don't know what is this fan is blowing. So 
I wonder what the hell is blowing, so it's really useless. The fan tack does take the air from here and blows it through here, so I'm guessing it's like a passive cooling type. So it takes the air from here, goes, runs all over here, goes through the fan and pushes out. So that is kind of still a cooler, but it's not an efficient cooling. So yeah. All right, anyway, regarding the RAM, the RAMs are right here and one right here. To upgrade the RAMs, you do not need to remove the battery at all. It is absolutely not necessary, but if you do want to be paranoid and remove the battery, there's one screw and two screws. Remove these two screws. The screws are the same size as the bottom case and just lift up the battery right there and just flip it over. Now to unplug the RAMs, all you need to do is to pull these two triggers beside the RAMs away from each other and the RAM should come out in 45 degree angle, just like that. And all you need to do is just grab it and slide it out in the same 45 degree angle. These are a DDR3 4 gig DDR3L for low voltage, so you can grab another one and place it right in here in a 45 degree angle, bring it all the way through the jack and once it's in there, just push it towards the motherboard, just like that. So again, pull it out, bring it down in 45 degree angle and push it towards the motherboard. And the last thing would be to just bring down the battery, slide it down over, uh, put the screw for the battery. One was right here, I believe. No, one was right over here. And the other one would be just right over here. All right. Now, once you have all this set, just grab the top cover, bring down, slide the audio jack in, first hook it in, and then bring the top case bottom right here, and squeeze the back, just pinch the bottom and top cover, just like this. And the last thing would be to just grab the bottom screws and slap them right on top. Also, just remember, once you put all these uh, screws in, once you power on the laptop, it might take 5 to 10 seconds to detect the RAM and do a memory check, so don't panic. Just take your time and wait. And if it doesn't boot up, just power off, switch the RAM places, and then try it again, and it should work just fine. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out to do your own upgrade. If it did, please click that like button. If you have any questions or requests, Feel free to leave them in the video comment. As always, I try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.